Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. F <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi, and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later. Good morning, Bumblebee. <laughs> it was very cold last night. And there's still like frost on the ground. I don't know if it's frost. <laughs> Might be just dew. But it was still pretty cold last night. I think it was a little bit too cold uh, for camping. But I've said that before nearly every time. <laughs> but the sun is out now. So it's warming up. So let's get packed up and get ready to go. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 26 on our round the world tour. The sun is shining. There are no clouds in the sky. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. Yeah, it was a crazy night because at first we didn't manage to um, fix our mattress. So the mattress deflated the whole night and it was just freezing cold. Also, I think we could hear some uh, dogs barking. Maybe they had some fights or something. I have no idea. Then we could hear that some like little creature sniffed around our tent. It was probably a wolf. Yeah, probably. Probably or life a, life threatening. Yeah, or a big cat or something <laughs> crazy. But when you came outside the tent, it was an absolutely beautiful sky. It was so clear and there were so many stars. It was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice. But yes, it's a warm day now. The cold is over. We're ready to hit the road. Yeah, so <laughs> let's show you where we're going to head today. We are here at the start of the Parque Natural Sierra Norte de Guadalajara and we are going to be making our way all the way down through the park towards Guadalajara and we are going to continue a little bit further south to try and find a Airbnb or homestay or something just to the east of Madrid. So yes, basically today we are aiming to make our way through the center, right through the middle of this national park here, the Parque Natural Sierra Norte de Guadalajara. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a mouthful to say. <laughs> I'll tell you more about the park uh, when we hit the road. So let's go. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready? Yes. All right. Up. <gasps> okay. Up. 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 Oh, up we're going up, over. Up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's because here, look, I couldn't put my foot down. That was the problem. Yeah. So it's because I put my foot in the dip. Okay. This is a bit more flatter and easier grass right now. Sierra Norte to Guadalajara. So we're trying to take one of these little dirt roads down all the way through, all the way out the bottom. All right, we've checked the map. We kind of know the direction we want to head in. And we are heading into the Sierra Norte. <laughs> this way. Just have to avoid the potholes. This natural park is apparently home to wolves and a couple of species of cats. Not like domestic cats, but like wild cats. But not as big as a lion, 
but still quite formidable if you're a squirrel. And the peaks in this national park reach above 2,000 meters. The national park encompasses like a multitude of different mountain ranges and different peaks and it's sort of a, just a big area encompassing all of that mountainous region. And uh, we're pretty much going all the way from the northern end all the way through out the southern end. I just remembered it's probably a good idea to take down the air pressure of our tires. Um, so we are normally running 38-42 and uh, now we're going to take them down to 34-38 PSI. Um, that'll probably just help us with this sort of like loose gravelly kind of uh, thing so we don't keep bouncing all over the place. So we bought this, uh, this thing called Recibi. It's um, from Amazon and we just connect it up and it's digital. So then we just turn it on and we can set our desired PSI. So we're currently on 36 on the front. So it's gone down a little bit from 38 and now we're gonna make it 34. So I'm just loosening it off, allowing a bit of pressure out. There okay. we go. 34. So we didn't really need to even use the power from this. We just needed to use this to actually deflate the tire and then that was measuring the PSI. So now I move that up to 38. Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah. So traction is feeling even better. It's feeling smoother now that we've taken the tire pressure down to uh, 34 and 38. The bike seems to be doing pretty well on this kind of gravel track. Yeah, I can feel on, on the back as well that I don't bounce around as much. I just had to get used to the kind of a little bit softer feel, but softer means more traction, so that's good. Especially when you've got this kind of loose gravel and we're going up kind of uh, some steepish hills and round corners with bumps. Yeah, we're just cruising through this beautiful natural park here. Forested mountains, you know, this is the sort of the cool capability that we have. This is an adventure bike. This bike is ready to go on dirt roads. It's ready to go off-road. We just have to be ready to go with it. Quite a big one. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, f <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what did I do wrong there? Didn't keep going, hey? Oh, no. <laughs> we uh, have a little bit of a tear in our foot pedal bracket from this last fall um, but we actually have a spare one uh, in the back because this was already had a sort of a hairline fracture in it so I think that's a case of taking that to uh, a garage pretty soon to get that bracket replaced on the foot pedal but apart from that the bike is not broken we are good to continue okay everything is back up right it's time for round three if I see a big dip, I'm going to really, really, really try to avoid it this time. Uh, it's a good job that we uh, have now our Bark Busters hand guards, thanks to Ash. Ash, I think you saved us with these already quite a few times. <laughs>
nice. Yeah, look at this beautiful valley. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. Wow. Yeah, no houses. Nothing here except mountains and forest. That's very, very cool. And you know, this is what I think we're all about. Trying to just get out in the beautiful landscapes and have a good day's ride with as little falling off as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. There's some cows. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Hello, guys. Wow. How are cool. you doing? Wow. Hello. There, look. Look at the horns on that wow. one. Wow. And there's some baby cows as well. And this one Cow has a family. has a bell. Oh yeah. That's probably what we heard last night. Yes, we did hear some cows coming through last night. Yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. We haven't seen very many people here at all, hey? No, no, we passed a construction site over there. Yeah. With two people and one car passed us this morning. I think he was um, either a local or maybe even worked here in the, um, in the park. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But that's it, like, we haven't that's seen any, not, we haven't seen any tourists yet. No. It's like we have most of the park just to ourselves. Yeah, I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are coming into Mahal Rayo. This is just a small little town in the middle of the natural park. I guess the place was already here before they made it a natural park. Probably just local farmers living here. Nice, and you can see here they're using the the stones from around to building uh, houses and yeah. building walls and everything so oh, that's wow. really cool look at that yeah every bit every single construction here is made out of this slaty flat slate stone that's awesome wow that's really nice you can see they've got a bit of paved road here as well yeah that's quite nice <laughs> to be back on the paved <laughs> road wow how beautiful so this village is just blending into the mountains actually <laughs> yeah it came from the mountains and it's just part of it you know look at this oh there's a lot of ways to go i'm okay. just going to keep going straight and hope that we get through yeah ah oh. look there are some tourists <laughs> Hola. Hola. so we've just left mahel rayo and it's all paved now, <laughs> which is a, oh, it's a little bit disappointing. You know, I was really liking the wild adventure of the mountains. And then when we get to Mahel Rayo, it's like, there's like a tourist bus there and everyone's having some wine at lunch. And we're like, oh man, <laughs> I thought it was a remote place. <laughs> but anyway, it helps with actually making some distance because it took us quite a long time to do the dirt road especially with all the falling over and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, two times falling over is uh, enough for today. Anyway, look, we can just appreciate how easy it is and just roll our way through the rest of this park. Yes. Some more cows on the road. Hello, cows. Hello, guys. Hello. So yesterday we tried to book a room um, with the Airbnb app. But I don't know what's going on here in Spain. It seems to be everything very funny because we booked this, the first room and then we got a message from the host saying he can't accommodate us. So he can he asked us to cancel, so we cancelled. Then we booked the second room. Yeah, but it wasn't as simple as that, was it? It was <laughs> like he asked us to cancel and then it said you're going to be charged 50% of the booking and we booked for three nights. And then we messaged him back like, no, you have to cancel. And then he said, nope, nope you got to go contact Airbnb support and then uh, we had to call 
small Airbnb support last night in the tent <laughs> and, uh, and speak to a person in the UK and then they said okay we'll cancel it for you and blah 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 that was just the first one and then the second one so we um, booked another room then we got the message from the guy called Tono and he said um, sorry I can't accommodate you if you want I have another room somewhere else but you have to cancel your booking <laughs> And the other room was like 10 euros a night more expensive yeah, exactly. than the room that he had the advert on. Yes. So what's that about? Yeah, <laughs> so I really don't know. So, so we booked another room, a third room. The person came back to us saying, oh, the room in the adverb is not um, available anymore. But if you want, I have another room in the same house. So now we messaged, messaged the person and said, that's fine, we take in this other room in the same house, we don't mind. Um, just let us know if this is the same price or what's going on. And now we're still mess, uh, waiting for the person to come back to us. Yeah. So we don't really know where to go from now on. We have just to um, maybe check in one hour again where yeah. we're going to stay. We don't really know. <laughs> So we ended up booking a hotel because Airbnb didn't work out. It was like talking to three different people. Everyone was like, oh, I have a room there and you can go there. And the third try was, and then they came back to us. Oh, this room's not available. We have another room. And then we asked, is it the same price? And then we, they didn't get back to us for ages. Yes. So actually we just returned uh, two miles um, and found this place here. And yeah, it's called Hotel Rural Victoria. And um, well, the price is only probably five euro a night more than the Airbnbs that we were looking at anyway. Yeah, so, so it's, fine. it's it's not too bad, yeah, and it's in yeah. a nice little rural town, mm -hmm. just outside of the national park, uh, on our way to Guadalajara. So we're about an hour out of Madrid now, but still in the nice countryside where we can spend a few days editing and chilling a bit. But it was really nice to wake up in this Sierra Norte de Guadalajara National Park. It was really nice to, uh, to camp there last night and to drive all the way through today to see all the beautiful mountains, to see all the wolves and bears and everything that we... Oh, did we? Amazing. I don't think we managed to film that, did we? <laughs> it, was, uh, yeah, it was really nice to go through and the sun is shining and the rain is over for now, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. It was a really nice day, really nice driving, a little bit off-road, a little bit falling over, but <laughs> you know, we have to get used to it. Um, luckily, we didn't break anything, so... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So learn from it, move on. So, but we really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below and all of these things. We will see you next time.